The atmosphere is one of the most important aspects of our planet, a thin veil of air protecting us from the cold abyss of space. But in it, some bizarre things can happen, from terrifying storms to alien-like clouds, the strange optical phenomena. Let's look at the wildest events that happen in our atmosphere. First of all, let's talk about lightning. We typically imagine lightning as being long and streaky, but have you ever heard of spherical lightning? Now this one is extremely rare, and although scientists seem to have concluded that it is real, sightings and supposed footage are rare and unconfirmed. The leading theory is that the effect is caused by a vortex of luminous gases and microwave radiation getting trapped in a plasma bubble. There have been numerous reports of ball lightning injuring and even killing people, but to this day it still remains very much a mystery. The next thing we will talk about is rare clouds. You might have seen recent footage of this bizarre UFO-like cloud in the skies above the Bursa province in Turkey. Now what is this? Well, it's a rare Lenanticlia cloud. From They form in the troposphere and are caused by air flowing in the same or similar direction at different heights. Usually they're the same colour as other clouds, but sometimes due to haze and dust in the atmosphere, they can turn a rosy orange, like the cloud that was seen in Turkey. Another rare type of cloud is a Peleus cloud, that is formed when the air surrounding a cuneiform tower is rising so quickly that it condenses into a smooth umbrella or hood-like shape. Once it hits its dew point, ice crystals form at the top of the clouds, and when light enters the cloud, it gets diffracted, creating this beautiful rainbow effect. Speaking of clouds, let's talk about a more dangerous type of cloud, tornadoes. We've all heard of regular tornadoes, but what about fire tornadoes? And while this sounds like something straight from hell, it's actually a real phenomena that is caused when smoke rises and condenses in the upper atmosphere and forms a pyrocleonimbus cloud, which creates a vortex of fire. Thus, a fire tornado is born. Now, these are rare and unsurprisingly very dangerous. For example, in 1923, an earthquake ignited one of these fire wells and it killed 38,000 people in the span of only 15 minutes. On the opposite end of the spectrum, we have a water spout, a tornado made of water. These start off as regular tornadoes, but when they cross over to the water, it causes air to rise and rotate on a vertical axis. Now, these are a lot less dangerous than firewalls because they mostly happen in the water far away from settlements and are quite rare. So that concludes our list. There's many more that I don't have time to talk about. And if you made it to the end, I would like to say thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video.